In this video, we will demonstrate how to open borrow positions and manage them using PolkaSwap. Throughout the demo, we will highlight all the current features and also discuss some upcoming improvements based on the feedback we've received. Let's open a borrow position. First, we need to ensure that we have a sufficient amount of collateral tokens to meet the minimum deposit requirement. Let's fill in the collateral deposit and debt amount. For instance, We'll select DAI and input 100 DAI as the collateral. As we increase the borrow depth, we'll notice that the loan-to-value LTV ratio will also increase. It's essential to manage it periodically since our debt increases over time, and the LTV shouldn't approach 100% due to the risk of potential liquidation. A higher LTV offers higher potential returns, but also increases the risk, including the chance of liquidation. Let's borrow 50k USD. While 50% is a high LTV, DAI is a stable coin, so the price rates won't be affected using our position in this case. Let's review all transaction information and simply click Open Position. We've successfully opened a position. Now, we can click on it to view all the details in real time. Here, we can see our locked collateral, our increasing debt, and the available borrowing value. We can increase the locked collateral to lower the LTV and avoid potential liquidation of our position while increasing the available borrowing value. Let's increase it by an additional 50 DAI. As we can see, our LTV has decreased and now we can borrow more KUSD. Let's borrow an extra 10 KUSD. Our LTV will increase slightly since we are borrowing more tokens. Additionally, we can repay the debt whenever we wish, but it's not necessary to do it frequently. When we decide that we no longer need KUSD tokens, we can simply click Close My Position. As for the upcoming improvements, we will include overall statistical information and collateral stats. Additionally, we will add a history for each position, including liquidations. We'll include manually closed and liquidated positions and implement notifications regarding positions to enhance transparency and simplicity. For future use cases, since we've opened a position and borrowed KUSD, we now have these tokens in PolkaSwap. What can we do with KUSD tokens? KUSD is a stablecoin. For instance, we could simply swap it. It can also be used for liquidity provision with KUSD as the base asset. For example, we might have liquidity pools with KUSD and VAL or KUSD and PSwap, etc. And lastly, it can be used in the order book. As we conclude our demonstration of Kensetsu, the borrowing platform in PolkaSwap, we've witnessed firsthand the powerful capabilities it offers to users. With Kenzetsu, borrowing becomes a simple and transparent process, enabling users to unlock the value of their assets without the need for intermediaries. As we continue to iterate and refine Kenzetsu in PolkaSwap, we invite you to join us on this journey of innovation and exploration. Try out Kenzetsu for yourself on the PolkaSwap testnet and experience the future of decentralized borrowing firsthand. Thank you for joining and happy borrowing with style and freedom.